All right, y'all. So today I just want to talk about the state of the finals, really. And the reason why I want to do that is because I was I was on TikTok uh, literally like an hour ago, and I got this TikTok right here. Let's play it, and I'll talk about it more. Reason why. Why do new games like the finals die off while old games like PUBG still have a dedicated player base? Let's start off by taking a look at Steam charts. You'll notice a couple trending games like Pal World and Baldur's Gate, and you also notice many classics here. Counter-Strike, Dota 2, PUBG, Call of Duty, Apex, and even Team Fortress 2. But wait, didn't the finals release recently? Where is it? Yeah, it released December 8th, not even two full months ago. In that time, it's lost almost 90% of its player base. Now, that this video was made like a month ago, and I've it's only been on my For You page now. So it's now the game's been out for now about three months now. And seeing this made me interested because, like he says in the video, yes, the game did release December 7th, December 8th, whatever. And it is lost 90 percent of its player base and the question is is the game already dead now i don't think it is because you know there's always a, that initial growth in player base within the first month or two because people want to see what the game is like and then once people start you know once the dedicated fan base starts rolling in that's when you see that more accurate number of what it's going to be steady at Look, the reason why I'm making this video is because I love the finals, right? I have almost 200 hours in the game, which, you know, to many people might not be a lot of hours, but the game has only been out for three months, and I think 200 hours is a pretty substantial amount. I've been max level. Uh, I hit level 40 fucking, you know, a month in, and... And, you know, they raised it up to level 50 and I've been max level 50. I got level 50 like the same day that they came out with the update. So, you know, I've been max level. I finished the battle pass super early on. So I've played a lot of the game. I, I know how the game is. And and I'd say I've been around playing the game for a while. Now, also, I haven't made a video on the game in about two weeks, which is kind of crazy if we look in the last two weeks before you know i kind of stopped you had one two three four five six seven eight you know and, the, and it goes on and on so I, i've had a, l a lot of videos on the game because i enjoyed playing the game and making the game but i want to go over why i haven't really been playing the game and that kind of leads into why this video exists in the first place like this TikTok, and i want to go over these comments and see if I agree with them. Now, I have already gone over them, obviously, because it made me interested and wanted to make a video on it, but I want to give you uh, my takes on the game. As a person that's played a lot of the game compared to these people, which I don't think they have because reading the comments, I disagreed with a lot of it. So let's go ahead and start off with the first comment. First comment that I'm going to go over is Mike Hawk. Uh, the, <laughs> the finals has too much of a skill gap, no free cosmetics, Four maps, two game modes, it died because there's nothing there. Now, first off, I really don't think the finals has that much of a skill gap. Now, this is coming from a person that's been playing video games their whole life, so maybe I just find games easy. But, but I think you could also look on the other aspect of that, that I've been playing games my whole life, so I would know what an actual game that has a high skill gap, like like rocket league for example or fortnite i would say fortnite has a crazy high skill gap and i'd say final the finals is not one of them i think it can be if you're at the top of the top but that's kind of how it is for every game in a way i think the top of the top for this game isn't as crazy as the top of the top of certain games like i like rocket league for example so I would, I think that's literally just a, a skill issue. I really don't think this game has that much of a skill gap in my opinion. Um, even my friends, for example, that aren't the greatest at video games, you know, they can still get on the game and sure I might carry them most of the time, but there's plenty of times where they're up there with me on the scoreboard or even, you know, maybe I'm having a shitty game, you know, and it, it happens. No free cosmetics um, is just wrong. But again, this video was made a month ago and the a month ago, I don't know if they had the, because he also says two game modes. Now, as we know, as today in today's 
um, the finals. They've released two new game modes, which they were both limited time. Uh, the one's actually still going right now, the Valentine's event. But the other one uh, was limited time, and this one is going to be limited time too. But both of them have uh, free cosmetics that you get. So this is wrong. But again, this was made a month ago, and I don't even think I don't think the first game mode even came out yet. Um, I could be wrong though, but yeah. So we do now have free cosmetics. Um, so I'm sure they're going to be releasing. Now this, um, yeah, I agree with the four maps. But see, again, the game released three months ago, and at the time of this making of this TikTok, two months ago. What do you expect them to do? Four maps is a pretty good amount for, you know, a, a game that just released two, three months ago. I, I don't know what they expect. The maps are pretty solid, except for the casino or Vegas, whatever, Las Vegas. That map is terrible. I hate that map. But every other map is doable. It, 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 it's a good map. So I, I, I think that's a shit take, poor take. And he just ends it off with it died because there's nothing there. Okay, see, like another one. And not to mention that last one, by the way, got 1,600 likes. So people agree with it. But this next one, which is right below it, is, uh, uh, I don't know how to say that name. But no, because there is nothing going on in the finals. Every round is the same. No balancing, no new modes, guns, mechanics, nothing. Which... Right off the bat is literally just factually wrong. I mean, it's just factually wrong. There's been plenty of balancing in the game. Sure, the last couple uh, patches, I think the last two, they haven't really done much balancing. Uh, but the 1.5 and 1.6, I believe it was. I think we're on 1.8 now. There was a bunch of, you know, heavy nerfs like the C4s and explosive canisters and RPGs. Uh, they nerfed heavy like crazy. They, There has been balancing. There's been a lot of balancing. No new modes. Again, we also know it's wrong now. Maybe at the time there wasn't. Guns. The game literally just released. How many new... They already have a bunch of guns. What, you want them to release more guns? No balancing, no new modes, guns, mechanics. So yeah, no new guns, no new mechanics, I, okay? And then nothing. So this is just a wrong... I can't believe that this got 700 likes. This is just wrong. People read this and were like, yeah, I agree with that. And they're just casuals. I mean, fuck. Now this one, I seen and I actually agreed with, which is kind of crazy because it only has 21 likes, which is really sad. I... I People like the ones that are literally just factually wrong, but they don't like the ones that are kind of low-key true. So AC says, the finals isn't rewarding. It's the biggest reason I get off of it. You'll go through a 30-minute tournament, then get absolutely nothing after winning. And I think to a certain extent, this is true. I agree with the first part mainly more than the second part. I think the finals really isn't as rewarding as it truly could be. Like, sure, you get a piece of clothing every time you level up and, you know, you have the battle pass to work towards. And for most people, that might be enough. Well, obviously, I guess not. But for some people, it might be enough. But for me, for example, I finished all of that within the first month of the game's release. You know, and they added those extra 10 levels to give you 10 extra pieces of clothing, which was cool. Um, definitely, I, I, I like that. But ever since I've been max level, the only thing that I've been working towards is getting achievements for the game. That's literally the only thing there is to work towards anymore. And and hitting uh, diamond rank too, there, there is that. But I'm not so much as interested in that because I don't care about the diamond gun that's in. The only diamond gun that I care about getting would be like the sniper for light or maybe or maybe the riot shield for medium because i think that'd look cool but other than those two i really don't care to hit diamond it's not really in my interest because the whole point of hitting diamond really isn't the flex that your diamond is the flex that you have the skin so i've been working towards the achievement aspect which i'm actually almost done it's just there's those like really hard ones that you have to win 150 rounds with each class um, and then there's that ultra hard one where you have to deposit 10 million cash. 
which I'm not even close to doing that one. No one's even gotten that one in the world. That's what I mean. It's not very, there's not enough rewards, not enough rewarding. So I do agree with that. Now the, you'll go through a 30 minute tournament, then get absolutely nothing after winning. You could make that argument for every game that has ranks, really. Um, the reward for you going through a 30 minute tournament is to get plus points towards your rank that's literally what it is for every game and then once the season ends whatever rank you're at you get that specific reward for that rank that's just how it is so that part of the comments dog but i i agree with the first part and i kind of just want to go over this final comment that is a very popular comment that has a thousand ninety likes so a bunch of people do agree and it's just the final ain't dead though and it really just isn't i mean the game isn't dead the game had the initial high spike of players because <clears throat> it was one of those games that you know people are like oh it's a free-to-play game might as well play it people quickly get off of it because they're like eh, not my style you know whatever it is but then you know they have the dedicated fan base and if we go ahead and look at steam charts itself and see how many people are playing the finals we can clearly see the game is far from dead 26 thousand is playing the actual game and then a play test i guess is going on uh, i actually don't know about that but 36 thousand you know there's a bunch of people sure you know they're at their mind they're, they're losing players but i'm sure embark studio knew that was going to happen that's what happens with every game it is what it is the game is not dead yet and that's why I'm, I'm saying yet, because I am becoming a little skeptical, you know, for fair reasons, I'd say. Now, the new battle pass for the game does release in like 26 days. So hopefully that battle pass is a banger. They release maybe a new game mode. What I would like from Embark is the main problem that I saw in the comments is people saying that the game is too repetitive and too hard. Too much of like a skill gap. I think what Embark should do is, and there's not enough game modes. So I think the perfect solution to their problem is to make a permanent free for all game mode and a permanent team deathmatch game mode. So you still have your competitive area where people can play casual quick cash f for them to warm up towards the tournaments. Or maybe just get rid of quick cash and all of that together and just leave tournaments. Because what's the point anyways? Just keep casual tournaments and then ranked tournaments. So then people can play that. And then do free for all and team deathmatch. For the more casual people that just like to run and gun and shoot. Like me for example. I love I love shit like that. I'd, I'd love a team deathmatch or a free for all. You know, we had a, that one free-for-all game mode, which I fucking loved. I thought it was a lot of fun. Just add a team deathmatch and a free-for-all permanent game mode, and I think you'll have a steady concurrent player base for a long while. And as long as you keep releasing uh, balance changes and meta changes and, you know, skins, cosmetics, and everything like that, obviously, and a new battle pass, refreshing battle pass, you'll be golden. So thank you all for watching, man. I really do appreciate it. Again... Real, real quick i just want to shout out like my youtube subscribe y'all please almost at 100 subs we're almost at the 90 one sub away so that'd be sick to hit uh, i'd be making videos as consistently as possible i'm trying i'm trying for y'all man uh but thank y'all for watching the video and peace